why was Bunny wearing an only murderous hoodie? Amanda Woods asked me to postulate about why she might be wearing it. And to be honest, I've got no idea. I tried to think about it for a second a couple months ago, but this this is really, really rough. Like everything I thought of, it literally makes no sense. And I sat on this for days, almost a full week. I wrote three different scripts, but every single time it didn't make any sense and I just threw it away. But you know, I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. So on this 4th of July, I've come up with some long shot theories on why she was wearing an official and official only murders in the building podcast hoodie. Now, in order to get somewhat of an educated guess, I went back through all the interviews I could find. And in one showrunner, John Hoffman stated that one of the mysteries that needs to be solved is who was in Mabel's room with bunny. This should cancel out any other ideas that bunny was likely killed somewhere else. With that, we know that Bunny was in Mabel's room with someone. John Hoffman literally says it. So I'm assuming they took a secret passageway into Mabel's room. This is where Bunny was stabbed and then the killer left. And this is when Mabel came in through the front door, not knowing that Bunny was already in her room and that the killer could have even still been in the room just sliding out the back right then. Anything's possible. But everyone's got a secret passageway in the room. Not everyone, but I think a lot of people do. But let's keep moving. In order to figure out who could have been in Mabel's room, we had to figure out who was not there. I mean, I'm trying to make a list of people who are most likely not there for multiple reasons. And this is what I've got. These are the set of rules that I've used to exclude someone from the possibility of being in Mabel's room with Bunny. People who were likely not in the building, and I'm making this on an assumption that Bunny went willingly and likely through a hidden passageway, okay? And people who likely did not know about the hidden passageway. If you're in the building and you likely knew about the passageways or there's an idea that you could possibly know it, you might be in there. But with that, there's quite a few people that we can take out of the list altogether. That Jan was in prison Teddy and Theo should have been in jail. Cinda and Poppy, even though they showed up at the end outside, I don't think they were inside of the building. I think they were just there to make the ending pop a little bit more. It, it looks good with them there in order to try and question them and come up and show the uh, name for the new podcast. I, there's no actual logical reason for them to be there. And I, that's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. Um, that also takes out, um, I believe, Amy Schumer. She likely was not in the building. Um, also, Alice. There's no reason for her to be in the building from what we know. Leonora Folger. We saw her coming to the building looking for her painting. Even though she didn't care about her daughter's uh, death that much, we are assuming that this is her walking into the building for the first time in a while. That's how it's framed. Those are the people I'm specifically uh, saying that it's likely that they were not inside of the Arconia when Bunny was murdered. General assumption. There's nothing to show, nothing to make us think that w they were there. So I'm assuming that they most likely were not. Some of these people probably, for we know, were on the other side of town. And for not knowing the secret passageways exist. Now, I assume that this information is probably very well guarded, but there are some people who would definitely know about their existence, um, all the secret elevators and passageways. And here are a list of people that I've taken out of the equation that they most likely don't know about them. Dr. Grover Stanley, Indeedy, Arnoff, and the Superfans. And I'm on the fence about Howard not knowing about this. I know that he's somewhat friendly with Bunny, but he was the only person that did not show up outside when the trio was being arrested. It could be because he was doing some sneaking around. He, he could go either way, but those are the people who I assume 
know nothing about the secret passageways and that gives us a little something to work with episode three which hasn't come out yet at the time of this recording uh tells us that a five-month bird is going to be a critical window into the life of bunny and we're going to see bunny cross paths with some people that's going to surprise us and the podcasters that tells me that there's likely something going to happen within the next episode within six hours from now actually that might even refute everything that i'm saying now we don't know who she's gonna pass cross with people that we don't expect i don't know but i'm going to guess um it could be so many different people but if we're if we would be surprised about it give me two guesses here i'll say cinda canning would not expect her to be talking to her and someone even more surprising i'm gonna say will putnam i'm just throwing it out there there could be even weirder people she could be talking to mabel's mother for all we know i don't know that leaves our list of possible suspects people that were most likely in the building and might know something about these passageways so oscar his father jose torres then other people that we know at work in the arconia ursula the arconia building manager she would definitely know about this if say the elevator in bunny's room stopped working it was broken ursula would be the person contact the contractors in order to get it fixed and things of that nature she just knows about these kind of things as a building manager lester that old man he's probably been there just as long as bunny it's definitely possible um i would expect that he would know secret ways to get around to places faster and quicker and he's got loose lips he likes to pretend like he doesn't but he's a talker too so i wouldn't trust him with secrets but by virtue of his job i think he would likely know some things that people don't know people probably entrust him with a whole lot and he might end up saying something who knows the only other person i'm putting on this list is uma bunny's best friend we saw them go out to lunch together always hanging out together and i find it very very strange uh, unbelievable i should say that all the time they hang out together that uma has never looked in bunny's closet and saw this elevator it's literally very very unlikely that that has ever happened that she's never seen the elevator in there so i think she definitely knows about it uh, but those are all the people i think would likely know about the hidden elevator or passageways inside the Arconia. Now that we've gotten all this information of who it could likely be that was in Mabel's room with her, why were they there? If, if we can figure out why they're there, maybe we figure out why they're wearing hoodies or at least why Bunny was wearing a hoodie. This is the hardest part, trying to figure out why they were in the room and i've come to two assumptions number one well whenever you go to a room you usually want something so i'm assuming they went to mabel's room to get something my first guess is the only murder's hoodie now this might have been a guise or a ruse that someone used in order to get Mab uh bunny to get go into her room to steal some hoodies or to take some hoodies I know it's a little loose and doesn't make a hundred percent sense, but it would be a good cover for someone to say, Hey bunny, let's go in there and get some hoodies. We don't have to pay for them. Fuck these guys. They're assholes anyways. But we do know that the last time we saw the only murders in the building, the official hoodies were in Mabel's room. Uh, Oliver used them as a pillow when he spent the night there. And though he did, go back to his apartment after that fact we did not see any of the hoodies past the point of being in mabel's room so i'm um, just making the assumption again that the hoodies are still in her room and that whoever it was went there stole hoodies and once bunny put hers on went john wick on her that is one idea my second idea 
is also a stretch, but would explain a bit of a plot hole. Again, why do you go to someone's room? It's if you're looking for something. And I always wondered why Mabel was able to wear that emerald ring. She had it on the roof. Um, Oliver even states that ring looks good on you. Shouldn't that be evidence against Theo for the wrongful death of Zoe Cassidy or something like that? I never understood why Mabel was able to keep it. And maybe Bunny and this person, Arconian Crime Syndicate, went there to retrieve the ring as it would incriminate them, maybe of its place of origin. It could be like the person who uh, died was referred there by Bunny or something like that. Maybe this ring might tie back to them somehow. And they wanted to close that loop in order to uh, help save face, maybe help get Theo off even possibly. Uh, it is evidence. It's a big piece of evidence. And they could have been there looking for it. And though it wasn't there, they could have been wearing the only murders hoodies as a cover in case someone might happen to see them snooping around or something like that. But after realizing that the ring was not there, the killer, who I do believe was in a frame on the first teaser trailer, maybe they decided to stab Bunny as to close up some loose ends. So those are my theories on why Bunny was wearing a tie-dye hoodie. I might have mixed up some names here and there. Forgive me if I did. I'm drinking White Claws. This could be disproven within a few hours of me posting this. Anything is possible. Or uh, maybe something will happen that helps it seem like it might ring a little bit more true. Why do you think she was wearing a hoodie? I don't know. Tell me down in the comments. Do you think either of these are kind of plausible? Or you got any better ideas? Let me know down below. I'm going to try and get this uploaded before the new episode airs tonight. I'm trying to work on some kind of giveaway. To, um, so expect that in the next video. Ideally, will be coming out tomorrow. Um, right after the premiere at midnight tonight for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dallas. This is all my favorite things from the screen. And I will see you on the rooftop.